Hey there, Meditutors. I've got another story for you about our sleepy friend, Sid the Sloth. Are you ready to hear? Good, because I'm excited to tell it. Close your eyes, little ones, and snuggle down deep. Let your worries drift away like leaves on a gentle breeze. Let's rejoin our friend Sid high up in the rainforest canopy. Remember Sid's soft gray fur and his slow, gentle movements. Well, today, Sid wakes up feeling particularly energetic for a sloth, that is. He stretches his long arms and blinks his big, sleepy eyes. His tummy rumbles. It's time for breakfast. Sid loves to munch on juicy mangoes. He spots one hanging just out of reach on a nearby branch. But oh no, it's the biggest, most delicious looking mango he's ever seen. And it's just a tiny bit too far away. Imagine Sid hanging upside down. His long neck straining to reach the mango. He lets out a soft sigh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe if I swing a little. Sid begins to swing gently back and forth using his strong arms to propel himself. He gets closer with each swing, a little smile forming on his face. Just as he's about to grab the mango, a mischievous toucan swoops in and snatches it right out of his grasp. Sid lets out a surprised yelp. Hey! But the toucan is already flying off with his prize. Sid feels a little disappointed, but mostly curious. Where could the toucan be taking mango? Imagine Sid carefully climbing down the branches following the brightly colored toucan through the dense rainforest. They pass by vibrant flowers, chattering monkeys, and even a sleepy snake basking in the sun. The toucan leads Sid to a hidden clearing, bathed in sunlight. There, gathered around a small tree, all sorts of rainforest animals, a wise old owl, a playful group of monkeys, and even a shy family of deer. The toucan lands on the tree, proudly presenting the stolen mango. All the animals cheer. It turns out Today is the toucan's birthday, and the mango was the last ingredient for a special fruit salad they were all making together. Sid, despite his initial disappointment, feels a warmth spread through him. He's happy to have helped, even in a small way. Imagine all the animals sharing the delicious fruit salad, laughing and talking together. Sid joins in the celebration, munching on a piece of a different but equally yummy fruit. 
By the end of the day, Sid is tired but happy. He swings back to his branch, feeling a newfound sense of friendship with his rainforest neighbors. As the sun sets, casting long shadows across the trees, Sid closes his eyes and drifts off to sleep. Dreams of swinging through the jungle and celebrating his new friends fills his head. Just like Sid, little ones, allow your body to relax and drift off to sleep. Hold on to the happy feeling of the day and let your dreams take flight. Take some deep breaths in and out. Breathing in the relaxation of the night and breathing out the frustrations of the day. As you lay cozy in your soft bed, focus on your toes and feel them relax. Then your legs, then your tummy, all the way up to the top of your head. Take a few more deep breaths in. Sweet dreams. Until next Tuesday.